Can you have playable silver again? I actually low key. That'd be kind of cool. Can we have more to silver story? Like what? Like what really happened? We like never saw Methylus in action. We didn't see him burn up Silver's world or anything. Well, it was Iblis. I did that. Iblis, whatever. Iblis, like after the flames of disaster was released, it killed everybody. Like when was like? I don't know. We just don't see any of what really happened. We hear about it. He says, "Oh, everything is dying." Well, at least has like a vision at the beginning of the game that shows like Iblis with the flames of disaster. I guess. I don't know. Well, that's like, yeah, I guess, yeah, after I feel that, like Silver's never attention. really been explored as a character. Maybe in the books he has. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know, though. really wish this game had had more, like, time put into it. Because this is one of the, I feel like this is one of the longer Sonic games in the series, too. For sure. Especially because they have, like, the multiple stories and stuff, right? Imagine how much more content they probably, they probably would have put a lot more into this game. This game, oh. I can't imagine how much content this game probably had cut for it. Imagine, like, they had, like, full ass, like, more than just, like, one levels for, like, the extra missions, right? Because, like, for, like, Sonic Story, you have an extra mission as Tails. For Shadow, you have one with Rouge, and then Silver, you have one for Blaze. I wonder if they cut, like, levels of those guys. Oh, speak of the devil. Yeah, I don't know. They probably cut a lot... And it's sad because we'll never see, we'll never see any of it. To the double jump. Yeah, I okay, that's kind of what I thought. But yeah, I don't know, I just wish, like, even in, like, a, just a new game with all three of these guys together again in the story would be really cool. He plays all three of them, maybe plays shows up too, that'd be cool. I, I just, I've always just been a big fan of Blaze, so I don't know, like, Cool. Blaze has always been a fan favorite, I think. They need to give Silver his own game. And they need to bring Blaze back. Fucking have both of them in the game, honestly. Blaze could just be like the like Sonic part of the game where she like runs really fast. I know Sonic You know is the you know, he's the head of the believe it or not, he's the head of the Sonic franchise, but like no, a lot of the other side characters that people like, a lot of the, like, important characters, like, oh, don't even have their own game. Like, when this is the last time that Tails had his own, like, proper game? Uh, like, he, he's never game. even had his own 3D game. Knuckles needs his own 3D game. He never got one for some reason. He got Knuckles Chaotix, and that was it. Knuckles Chaotix actually looks kind of fun, though. It looks alright. I saw. I actually saw gameplay of it for the first time and like, in my sh life. Shadow was the only character to get his own like fully 3D like side game, and it wasn't even good. No, I get what you mean. Like, despite Mario being the head of his own series, bro, Donkey Kong has his own sub series. Like, Yoshi had his own sub series. Donkey Kong didn't. Fucking even Wario got a game, bro. Peach has two games. Peach is getting a game, yeah. Well, she already got one. It came out. Yeah, I know, but. Like, she has two games now, like, and... How, like... I don't know, I'm just saying, like, we definitely need more Sonic games with the side characters. That's what I'm saying. Like, I would love do. a Silver and Blaze game, honestly. Yeah, I had an idea. Let's go on r slash relationships, bro. r slash... Oh, dear. What are we gonna see on there? I wanna see if we can help people with their relationship problems. We might be able to. Let's see, r slash relationships. There we go. Or do we go to relationship advice? Okay, so, um, we have my husband never stops complaining. Husband cocaine use multiple days per week. <laughs> or boyfriend 29 male only dated me 27 female because he couldn't have the love of his life. <laughs> I think we do the Jesus cocaine. fucking Christ. <laughs> I think we do the cocaine one. <laughs> do some blow with your boy. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yeah. Oh my god, this is long as fuck. No, dude. Alright. Get ready, guys. This might take a while. But we did read Sonic fanfic on, um, on video once as well. And that was, that was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. My 30 
Oh, no, wait, what? My, me, 30 female, husband, 31 male, of three years, together for 11 years. Of three years together for 11 years? Okay. And I have been, or, and I have been having an evolving discussion regarding his drug use. I moved to a new city for him five years ago, and that's when I really started to notice the change, a change in our relationship. Partying and drinking multiple times, <laughs> multiple nights per week. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucking my husband is cocaine use. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, MD, MDMA co cocaine that I'm aware of. I tried it once and had an awful experience and got super turned off by it all. We've moved back into to our home city within the last year. Brought home, brought, or sorry, bought a home. I, and I really th thought things would change. They haven't, stupid me. And I'm clearly, I am fairly certain he is using drugs multiple times or multiple nights per week when he goes out for beers with his friends. He, and he comes home at 2 to 4 a.m. during the week, sometimes multiple nights a night, or some multiple, multiple nights a week, Jesus Christ. I told him this makes me feel incredibly anxious about his ability to cut the shit and grow up. We're not getting any younger and we both want kids. It also makes me feel anxious that it's unsafe and risky. Not only for accidental overdose, but also given his line of work. I won't disclose for privacy reasons. I say the conversation is evolving because most recently we've talked about it and he said he's scared of lo use losing this young part of his life. He feels he'll be able to give up quickly than when required. As he has a few friends who partied a ton and had kids and, complete and it completely changed them as people. Me? Not so sure. Although I do empathize with this sense of loss. Ugh, something that has then started happening in the last six months is our friends who knew us both pretty well have started coming to me saying that they hope he cuts the shit because I'm a catch and he's going to lose me. Even multiple of our friends... Because I'm a catch. <laughs> what an interesting thing to say about yourself. <laughs> he's, he was pretty shaken by it. He said in his mind he wants 2025 to be the year he gives it all up. In the meantime, though, he feels like a, the clock is ticking for this deadline, which makes things worse for him. So he's just a drug addict? Like, that's, and he feels he needs simple. to get it out of his system. I feel so afraid and What? <laughs> things have gone this far. Sometimes he comes home and looks like a shell of the man I, uh, I know. Jesus Christ. That just sounds like he... Likes doing drugs. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a straight he drug He has to addict. let go of the, that younger part of him. Bro, what? You can just do things that you did at, when you were younger that aren't drugs. Husband got drunk and was very rude to me, throwing my positive thoughts about the repair of our marriage down the toilet. I'm struggling to get over it, and I don't know if I should even bother or just ask a divorce from here on out. Why is Reddit where you go for advice? I don't know. Would you go to Reddit for advice? No, honestly, I wouldn't. Reddit is my absolute. Would be, I don't think I would, but I guess you'd have to be pretty fucking desperate to go to Reddit. It'd be like you have no other option. I How long like. is too long to expect your partner to hold off on intimacy? That is literally a personal choice i don't that is not something you can ask reddit for what yeah no is she cheating what would you do next you know let's read this actually oh my god fucking hell actually it's not that long i've been with my wife for 10 years and married for seven on our second date she received a text message saying we should fuck tonight she explained it it was from a fuck buddy that was a huge asshole and just using her I let it go since we had just started dating. Six years later, and while my preg while pregnant with our second child, I know she had friended this ex fuck buddy on Facebook. There's you really could have used a better word than fuck buddy. That's probably what you call them. Probably. I decided to watch her close and try to catch her cheating. I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary, so after a year, I questioned her on it. She blew it off, said it's no big deal. Just wanted to see what's going on with them. 
She refused to unfriend him, so I questioned her again a month later. This time she asked if I wanted her to unfriend him, and I obviously said yes. So she did. Now a year later, I see that she has followed him on Instagram with him following her as well. I was able to see that she had him. She had followed him around the same time she unfriended him on Facebook. I questioned her on it, and she was totally she totally denied following him or having anything to do with him. You're getting cheated on. Literally, that <laughs> is the, your answer, bro. I'm sorry. I showed her screenshots, She's cheating. and she admitted it, saying she never messaged him or communicated with him in any way. And I could even look at her phone. That night, while I was having drinks, I asked her why she kept trying to stay in touch with this asshole that used her. I asked, was it just to look at his pics? I know he's a bodybuilder and tattooed, and I don't blame you. Her reply was, yeah, plus he has a huge dick. Oh, okay. Honestly, I feel now because even if she hasn't cheated, how do I ever compete with the hung bodybuilder i think he means huge no hung means like a massive dick oh okay she also lied about his name once when um discuss discussing her past partners i don't know if it would be like the competing part but the fact that she just said oh he's got a, he, he looks fucking hot as shit and has a massive cock is weird as fuck bro <laughs> like i'm not ta <laughs> i'm not sure if that's just me bro this was a but, good idea for But I'm not, bit. I'm not, I'm not taking that. I'm saying, what the fuck? You obviously want to fuck this guy again. I, I remember the puzzle being like super hard though. It's not, it's just annoying. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. Do you remember how to do that even? Yeah, you just, you just bring it up to here. Did I get through? I think you did. I did. Nice. Fuck yes, dude. That's awesome. And that's a wrap. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Two videos without.